What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and this is the gold review for the KRM-262 shotgun in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now in this video we will be covering firstly a general weapon overview, next we're going to go on to the damage profile aka the killing potential of this weapon, after that we're going to move on to the best attachments for the KRM, now after that we're going to go over gold camo tips, advice I have for those of you trying to get gold camo with this weapon, and lastly I'm going to go over my clothes thoughts whether or not I thought this weapon was actually good now let's get started with the general weapon overview now this weapon the KRM 262 is the classic Call of Duty shotgun there's basically one of these in every single Call of Duty it shoots a bunch of pellets that can at close ranges instantly kill your opponent now when you're outside of this insta-kill range, you're going to have a massive disadvantage when compared to other weapons. So shotgun users often have to have a lot of knowledge of the map and be able to get as close as possible to their opponents to make sure that they can get within that insta-kill range. Now a very important feature of this shotgun, as with all of the other shotguns in the game, is that you get a dramatic bonus when you aim down sights. Now you're seeing right now, when I hip fire the gun, it's going to shoot its 8 pellets at the spread you're seeing. However, if I aim down sights, that spread is significantly tightened. What that means for you is that although hip firing when you're in extreme close ranges is often the right thing to do, you're going to want to aim down sights as much as possible to guarantee your killing potential. And speaking of killing potential, let's move on to the damage profile of the KRM. Now the KRM is going to be shooting 8 pellets per shot, and the damage of the KRM is 13 maximum damage out to 5 meters and then dropping down to 11 damage out to 8 meters after 8 meters is going to drop down to 7 damage at 15 meters to which it's eventually going to disappear entirely and you'll no longer be able to get hit markers with this weapon. Now interestingly with the shotguns this time around in Black Ops 3 the way that they apply damage to enemies has been changed. No longer are you just going to be doing a certain amount of damage per pellet and then that's going to determine whether or not you kill an enemy. In fact when you hit an enemy as long as you just get one hit marker on an enemy it's going to apply a certain base damage depending on your range and then that base damage is going to be increased by a certain amount of bonus damage depending on how many pellets you actually landed. This is going to make it so you don't get, you know, seven hit markers in a row because you're just extremely unlucky and keep landing only one pellet and the other, you know, seven pellets somehow go to the side every time. Now that's pretty complicated stuff and just throwing a bunch of numbers at you guys probably isn't helping. So what is going to help is this. This is the distance to which you can get one shot kills with the KRM. That's your optimal range and you should try to engage every enemy within that range. Now something important to note as well when it comes to the killing potential of this weapon is that the headshot multiplier is 1, so nothing. So you get no bonuses whatsoever for getting a headshot on an enemy, so don't even bother aiming for the head. Now let's move on to the recommended attachments for the KRM. This is going to be a really important section because some stuff has changed in Black Ops 3 when compared to other Call of Duties when we're talking about shotguns. Now if I was to ask most of you what the best attachment would probably be for a shotgun, I think a lot of you would say, well, long barrel. Long barrel increases the range, right? So that's extremely important with shotguns. But the matter of the fact is that long barrel is basically completely useless on the KRM, and here is why. Long barrel only increases the absolutely maximum range by 13%. Now the maximum range is the range where you're basically going to get hit markers to beyond this range you're going to get no hit markers whatsoever. So that's going to extend it by 13%. Now obviously that's not completely useless, however, it's going to mean that that's not affecting your one shot kill range at all. So when we're talking about a shotgun that's all about that one shot kill like the KRM, something like long barrel is just not worth it. Much better spend your point on something else. 
Now, what about attachments that are worth it? Well, my number one recommended attachment would absolutely be Quick Draw. And the reason being is because you saw at the beginning of the video how substantial of a spread increase you get from aiming down sights. So you really do want to be aiming down sights as much as possible in order to guarantee those one-shot kills. Now, when you're in those extremely close ranges, you're going to have to be able to aim down sights and shoot and still kill your opponent before maybe someone with an SMG is just trying trying to hip fire you to death. So you really do want to be able to aim down sights as quickly as possible. When you're within those extremely close ranges, every single like every hundredth of a second counts when we're talking about winning a gunfight. Another great attachment that kind of seems like the opposite of what I just recommended with quick draw is laser sight. Laser sight is going to substantially increase the accuracy of your hip fire spread. It's going to tighten that a lot. So you're going to be able to just hip fire enemies at further ranges. And again, it's going to reduce that spread so more pellets will hit the enemy. Now, of course, you could take an either or approach where you could use the quick draw or you could use laser sight and kind of be, you know, good at hip firing or really focus on aiming down sights. But frankly, you should probably just use both. Both provide substantial increases. And then when you're just using the shotgun, you can determine for yourself, okay, this is a scenario where I should hip fire or this is a scenario where I have time to aim down sights. Both attachments provide extremely beneficial bonuses for the killing potential of your weapon. Now if you end up with some points to spare and you're looking for even another attachment, what I would definitely recommend is fast mags. Fast mags was actually pretty darn useful and the reason being is because you do reload your gun pretty slowly one shell at a time and you don't want to be caught in a reload like your objective with a shotgun is to get within the enemy base like where they're spawning right in front of their faces and that's the worst place to be sitting there reloading one shell at a time so fast makes really does kind of cut down on the amount of times you're going to be caught reloading definitely not essential but it is nice to have now let's move along to the gold camo tips for the KRM. Now getting gold camo for the KRM is actually pretty easy and the reason being is because you don't need headshots, you simply need one shot kills. And considering this shotgun is all about getting one shot kills, it's going to basically just be a little over 100 kills with this weapon in general and then you're going to get the 100 one shot kill Policia camo to which you can then work on the other challenges and hopefully finish up gold camo pretty quickly. Now some general advice I have for getting gold camo that I always reiterate for the new viewers is that when you're close to getting that 100 one shot kill challenge, make sure that you make new classes for anticipation. You don't want to be, you know, 98 or 99 out of 100 for one shot kills and then use it, get those two one shot kills within the first minute of the game and then the other, you know, five, seven minutes of the game are completely wasted. So make sure you make a different class like a class with no attachments or with six attachments in anticipation so you're not wasting your time. Speaking of a class with no attachments or six attachments, those are definitely the challenges that you should do first with the KRM. The reason being is that if you're trying to get 50 kills with no attachments and 50 kills with 6 attachments, you're going to end up getting a lot of challenges in the background. You're going to end up going on 5 kill streaks when you're using this gun with no attachments for example. You're going to end up getting revenge medals, you're going to end up just doing all of these challenges in the background while trying to complete these 2 separate challenges. And that's exactly what happened with me. I completed all of the other camo challenges while I was just trying to get the challenges done where you use no and then six attachments. So by the time I got my last kill for using it with no attachments, I was done and I had gold camo for this weapon. Now the only really tip I have specific to this weapon is that if you're kind of struggling with, you know, for getting five kill streaks especially, what you want to do is really load up on the stealth perks. Use ghost, use blast suppressor, dead silence, all of that stuff. And tracker is actually pretty good with this weapon. You can kind of see where people have gone and you can kind of get behind them and shoot them in the back. But in any event, loading up on those stealth perks is really going to let you kind of get into their base and generally go unnoticed. However, you know, when you shoot this gun I always used it with no silencer so I'm um, just because you really want to max out your range using it with a silencer 
is going to hurt that and it's really detrimental to your kill potential. So be, just be aware that when you're using those stealth perks, you're going to shoot once and then just know that they know where you are. But use that to your advantage. Maybe back up a little bit, get into position so that you can kind of track where people are coming to where you fired that shot and then kind of ambush them when they get there trying to look for you. Another just kind of tip for this weapon is don't try to make this the only thing that you're doing. And the reason being is because if you're playing a game type, certain maps are just not good with the KRM. Just have your KRM classes, but have other classes that you're usually using. Use your VMP, use your Pharaoh, use your Shiva, whatever. And then when you get a close range map like Turbine, then put on the KRM and progress it when you get to that map. If you're constantly trying to use the KRM on maps that aren't meant for it, you're going to not have a great time. Now that's it for gold camo tips. Let's wrap it up with my closing thoughts. Now my overall opinion with the KRM is that although I enjoyed a lot of my time using the KRM, it was a fun, I just like using shotguns in general, I'm like a player who enjoys using shotguns, and so using the KRM was pretty fun to me, but to be quite honest, I, I can't really see a reason to use the KRM over the Argus. The Argus just has a substantially longer one-shot kill range than the KRM, so it's kind of just like... Why would you use the KRM? Like, the Argus is just objectively better. It does require a little bit more accuracy, maybe I'd say, but the KRM doesn't really provide any substantial advantages over the Argus, so if you really want to get your one-shot kill on with a shotgun, just use the Argus. Now with that being said, it's unlocked pretty late and the KRM is, as I've said at the beginning, still a decent gun. There isn't necessarily anything extremely wrong with this weapon, it's just that there exists a, frankly, better alternative. I really hope that Treyarch does kind of maybe buff Long Barrel, because right now it's just totally useless on the weapon like the KRM. Even if they just make it specifically to the KRM, that they make it increase the one-shot kill potential, because the one-shot kill potential with the KRM really isn't that ridiculous. If they increase it by 13%, you're not going to, you know, see KRM take over the game, for goodness sakes. Now that's it for the video, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please remember to rate and share this video, it really helps me out. And if you want to see more Black Ops 3 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Now if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter, that's linked in the description below, as is my Twitch channel which you can follow as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.